Uh, my name's Lisa and I'm a chemical engineer working for a water company and at the moment we're down here building a sewerage scheme. The bit about, I like about my job the most is that I can um, do a bit of office work in Sydney but I get to come down here on site where all the action's happening and get my hands dirty and um, it makes it a lot more interesting because there's a, a broad range of things that I get involved in. For a project like this we actually subcontracted the design and construction of it and we have a project management role rather than actually doing it ourselves. When we come down each week we'll generally do a walk around the site and just ensure that um, all the correct equipment's being installed in the right places and that everything's in the right order as per the design. In about six weeks we'll be up to commissioning and we'll be then testing all the pumps and all the equipment before we introduce water onto the site and make sure everything flows through and doesn't leak. We'll be improving the, um, the rivers and the ocean, I think the environment in there. Also we've got a local dairy farmer who will be benefiting from the scheme. Instead of discharging the effluent from this scheme into the river or the ocean, we're actually going to pump it up to these paddocks and irrigate it. So not only will a farmer be able to benefit during dry times by be able, being able to water his pastures, it'll also be an environmental benefit because we won't be discharging it into the ocean like other schemes. One of the biggest challenges is just keeping the community informed and making sure they're okay with the whole construction process. When we go through their, their backyards and their driveways and gardens, we just have to keep them informed and communicate that we will restore everything back to its original condition. It's what attracted me to the water industry, the fact that it was clean, it was very relevant to everyone. Everyone uses water and produces wastewater, so I knew that there'd be plenty of opportunities for for the work, um, both in Australia and all around the world. In water, there's quite a few women and it gets increasing more and more, which is great. And hopefully with people like me who can, you know, let the new up and coming female engineers, let, it, let them know what it's like, um, will gradually be equal or if not uh, more of us in the industry. My advice to school leavers would be just to try and investigate all their options and just try and check out everything that's around and choose something that you like or that you're interested in and just work hard and go for it.